awesome ambassadors. How are you doing today? Let me believe that you are all fine. I hope you still remember our last topic for English. The degree of comparison. Can you see the fine degree of comparison? That's brilliant. Yes, we say that degree of comparison are used when we compare one or one person or thing with a, another. Do you see remember that we mentioned types of degree of comparison? The positive degree, the comparative degree, and the superlative degree. I hope you still remember what we said about the comparative degree. Beautiful when two persons or things are compared. Okay, what about the superlative degree? Wow, 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 thumbs up. That is when more than two persons are compared. Who can tell me what we said about the positive degree? Beautiful when nothing is compared uh, at all. In today's lesson, our focus is on adverbs and gerund words. Adverbs and gerund words. We shall define adverb and we shall also define gerund words. But let's look at the objective of the lesson at the end of this class. Understand that at the end of the class, you will be expected to define adverb. State three types of adverb. And then form sentences with the adverb. I take it again. Define adverbs. State types of adverbs. Then form sentences with what? With adverbs. Now, what is an adverb? An adverb is a word that gives more information about the verb. Adjective and another adverb. So the work of the adverb in this sense in this is to give more information about the verb, the adjective, and another adverb. What is a gerund word? Gerund words are nouns in form of the present participle form of the verb. That is to say that gerund words are the verb that end with ing. Any word that ends with ing like walking, trading, sleeping, eating, and so on, are called gerund words. Types of adverbs and their examples. In the slide here, many types of adverbs have been displayed. Among them are adverb of time. Example of adverb of time include now, soon, immediately. We have also looked at adverb of place. Example here, outside, over, under, and so many others. The next one is adverb of manner. Example, greatly, immediately, soundly, smoothly, and so on. Don't forget here that adverb of manner tells us how a thing is done. We also have adverb of degree. Example, to, like T-O-O, -O, very, like v e r y excessively like e x c e s s i v e l y and finally we looked at the adverb of frequency which talks about never ever always and often frequency here relates to us the number of time 
number of time something is done let's look at examples of gerund words after considering examples of adverbs we will also consider examples of gerund words which include traveling singing cooking sleeping dancing laughing eating and writing notice that before ing is added to this word the other part of the word is the verb therefore the rule for this gerund word is for you to add ing to the main verb which will give you a word in a participle form of the verb and that is known as gerund words let's look at this evaluation from what you have listened to what you have watched from the video can you define a verb can you define gerund word we define a verb as a word that describes Sorry, we define an adverb. That word there is an adverb, not a verb, please. Because we looked at adverb and gerund word. So what is an adverb? We define an adverb as a word that describes a verb, an adjective, and another adverb. Can you define gerund? We said that a gerund word is a word with the ing in front of the verb. That is, it is a word that ing, a verb that has ing in front of it. We took examples like walking, talking, and so on. Can you try this one at home? Start for types of adverbs and two examples for each. That is when you state the four types of adverb for each of the adverbs stated. Mention two examples. List five general words you have learned from this video. Only five out of the many. Our source material for this week is Red Dot Interactive English Book, 6 pages 138 to 144. Please refer to this material, this source material, and learn more. Until our next class in English, please do your homework, stay safe, and do the needful. My name is Teacher Edit, God bless you.